Hello, Toad here. Today, I'm making a bone themed object for use in World Painter. At the moment, I have in mind creating terrain that features bone fang like spikes, and I haven't seen an object resource pack that features anything of that nature. This means I need to build the object myself, even though I'm not the best builder around. This is the object I came up with. I'm not sure if it looks like a fang, or whether I'll use it in my map. But I will be showing you a time lapse of me building it, and then I'll show you how I convert it to a schematic for World Painter. In this object, I'm using the bone block, since my map will be in Minecraft version 1.12. For those that want a whiter structure, I suggest using the white concrete block, or white wool. Quartz also has the right color, but the default texture creates seams. So it depends on the look and feel you're going for. As I said before, I'm not the best builder out there. Not even close. It's an ongoing learning process for me and getting what I have visualized in my head out into some kind of form. Working with words has always been easier for me than producing something visually. Doesn't mean I have to stop trying though. This object took me a couple tries before I felt satisfied. Ultimately, I had to force myself to not overthink it, and just feel it out. If that makes sense? I knew I wanted something round that ends in a point, but beyond that, I wasn't sure. By the time the object is finished, I'm painfully aware of its symmetry. Not sure why, but whenever I build by hand, my brain insists upon it. I have had people point it out in the past, as a suggestion for improvement. I bring it up here, because while I agree that variation is important, my brain won't let go of the rightness that symmetry seems to create for me, so I'm still working on finding a balance between the two in my builds. Having said that, I'm going to move on to converting this object to a schematic in the MC Edit program. Okay, now we're in MC Edit, and I'll have the link to that program's website in the video description below. This process is straightforward. You just select the area of the object and then save it as a schematic. This isn't the only way to create schematic files, but I find it to be the easiest. Despite that, I still find many tree and object packs lacking schematics or BO3 files that World Painter and Terrain Control need. So it's helpful to know how to convert these yourself when you need to. Choose a file name that makes sense, and save it where you can find it easily later. And that's all there is to it. Now the only thing left to do is test it out in World Painter. In World Painter, I'm using the default 640x640 640 map size to test my object on. So, we'll choose Create Custom Object Layer, then select the schematic files we want in that layer, and adjust whatever settings we want. For this test, I'll leave it all at default. Next, we choose our brush settings for the layer, and then paint where we want those objects onto the map. Once again, I'll leave the settings at the defaults. And finally, we will explore the map into Minecraft to take a look. As you can see, the object worked just fine, and is now ready for use in a custom terrain map. And, if you like the object I've made here, and want to use it in your custom maps, I've made it available for download. You are free to use it in accordance to Mojang's terms of use. Credit isn't required, but is appreciated. The link for the download is in the video description below. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If it was helpful to you in any way, please hit the like button to let me know. If you'd like to see more videos from me, please subscribe, and be sure to click the bell icon if you want to be notified of my uploads. Feel free to check out the other videos displayed here before you go. Until next time, I wish you much light, love, and laughter.